Hit that subscribe button to never miss my plant-based recipes and videos. I grew up loving scrambled eggs as a kid, so this is my nice whole food plant-based substitute. It's a tofu scramble, and you can make it totally customized for what you like. You can just do the scramble on its own, but I always like to throw a couple vegetables into it. Before we started, I pre-cooked some red peppers, mushrooms, and red onions. The first thing we're gonna do is we are going to put in some vegetable broth, about a half a cup. And then right away, this is tofu right out of the package. All I did was just kind of cut it up. We're gonna crumble that right into the pan. We'll break it up more with our spatula. I'm using a whole block of tofu. This is easily enough to serve kind of two adults, or you can make a big batch of it and, and have it for another breakfast morning. Listen to that squishy. It's not an attractive sound, but that's the sound it makes. You'll see I didn't break it all up with my hands, so we just keep on kind of mashing it down and letting it cook down as the vegetable broth evaporates. We'll let this cook down for about seven to 10 minutes, roughly. And we will add a little bit of seasoning as we go. So that's looking pretty good. The kind of tofu I'm using here is extra firm. Firm would also work. It just helps hold the shape. If you use a softer tofu, it'll just kind of fall apart and turn to a bit of a mush, which I don't think is what you're gonna want. So I'm just gonna add just a little bit more vegetable stock just to help loosen things up. And now this is where we're gonna add the flavors in. Teaspoon of garlic salt, and then a quarter a cup of nutritional yeast. This is gonna add a lot of the flavor. Give it even a bit of a cheesy vibe. It looks like scrambled eggs to me. This is where I'll mix in those vegetables. It makes it more of a scramble here. Let those get mixed in. And then just as that's going, I like to add a little bit of leafy green in there. So I just kind of chopped up a bit of kale. And once that's wilted down, we are ready to go. This is a really, really quick morning breakfast that you can make for a bunch of people or you can just store the rest for leftovers. It, it keeps in the fridge really, really well. And I don't know if I'm crazy. I think that looks like scrambled eggs to me. Mmm, that's really nice. You could top this with some hot sauce, salsa, ketchup, whatever you like to put on scrambled eggs. Make it your own. Mmm. Go to pbwithj.ca for these recipes and more. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and click that notification bell.